Thanks for checking out the Get That Skate podcast. This episode is sponsored by SBDW Longboards. Uh, SBDW Longboards is Hong Kong's premium skate shop. Uh, it's skater owned, skater ran by my friend Tom. Uh, they stock all the best brands for downhill, free ride, LDP, cruisers, basically anything with a soft wheel. They are nice enough to hook me up with a set of my favorite soft wheels at the moment. So if you're ever in Hong Kong or if you are in Hong Kong, make sure to hit up Tom at SBDW Longboards. Check out the range, check out the gear that they have. And honestly, the best thing about SBDW is that Tom is a traveling downhill skateboarder. I met Tom on Euro Tour last year, uh, legend of a dude. And ever since then, he's been skating, going on trips, uh, film trips, racing, uh, representing Hong Kong. So shout out to Tom. Thanks for checking out the Get That Skate podcast. This episode is sponsored by SBDW Longboards. Peace. Welcome back, everybody, to the Get That Skate podcast. I'm your co-host, Harry Clark. And as per usual, we have the CEO, the main man, the figurehead, the don of Get That Skate with us, Jack Main. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks, Harry. It's nice to be here. Um, to my right, we have one of the most underrated free riders in the world, in my opinion. And I think, to- I said to you, I think you're probably one of the top 10 stand-up guys in the world right now Thank I, you. I put my boy up against any everybody it's jet brown how you going very good stoked to be on the podcast tonight and in the beautiful beautiful purple sunglasses over there it's a fresh central coast resident dog daddy lucky ray good morning good morning to you sir <laughs> good morning how was last night it was nice yeah yeah, yeah we kicked back kicked back yeah watched a movie that's it. Yeah, some cuddles. Sounds oh, relaxing. <laughs> what happened on Simon to sleep, Harry? You what happened last night? Nothing, I don't know. Bro. You wear rondas. You're chilling. I went to yeah. sleep yeah. way past my bedtime. Yeah, you never came home. <laughs> Jack only just got back. <laughs> Jack's just walked back in the door, actually. Um, but we'll, we'll we'll save that for another episode, hey, of another podcast. Hundred. Hundred. But again, you said it for me, Has. Thanks everyone for jumping on the podcast. It's a pleasure to be here. I love doing these. I don't get to do them a lot and it's crazy. It's good that you're here and living in the same household because we can pump more of these out. Bro, I'm actually keen for this. But it's we got someone from you two too. hours two hours away in the car and someone five hours away in the car. Oh, four and a half. Who come. So if you watch the podcast and you know the Central Coast crew, just leave a little comment for Jaden. <laughs> <laughs> just leave a little comment for Dom. His was so good too. Yeah, well, that's what everyone says. Yeah. yeah. I want to see more Jaden on the podcast. Jaden, Dom and I'll Jack. No, no, you know, you know, you know what, you know what will work? If you say, I don't want to see Jaden on the podcast, he'll be like, okay, yeah. I'll jump on. So we'll do that. But we're here tonight. We're gonna have a quick conversation, which is it's an interesting one. I hope. I hope we might burn some bridges with this. Actually, I hope people listening to this this uh, podcast. I hope you tell us we're wrong, bro. Yeah, people are gonna tell us we're wrong. Uh, There'll be someone you know unhappy about it, but this is our just our thoughts. Mm. But I hope this sparks a conversation between you and your crew to talk about the hills that you want to go to, and obviously I'm gonna say what the the topic is but i was thinking today when we were skating we were talking about different roads from around the world and i said you know for let's say like a lifer someone who's getting into downhill skating and they're going to be in this for life because you know GTS some for life exactly but some people come and go that's what i'm saying bro but for <laughs> someone who's going to get into downhill skating for life you know like yourself and live it live and breathe it and have it become their passion what are 10 roads around the world that you must go to as a, you know, a diehard downhill it's skateboarder. Like, yeah, it's like the skateboarding, bu- like the downhill bucket list. Yeah. All right. Well, let's start with you. What hill would you say for the first one? I've got, there's a couple of hills I'd like to talk about. I know we all have some hills to share, but the first one for me would be obviously just came back from Europe. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with K and K. Okay. But like, is it the hill or is it the event? It's everything. 
Because we're going to talk about the whole, like the package, right? I'm going to talk about everything because I come from the Central Coast, where, like you've seen today, we don't have many spots, we don't have mountain roads. And to go to somewhere that's safe, completely shut down, all those hairpins, mm, the mm. event itself, I feel like if you're going to be a downhill skater mm. and you like to have a good time, that's well, one place you have to hit up. It's you've also been, it's like the, I've been there once. So. I've been there twice. Have you been there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Europe 2017. And how many times have you Holy hit shit. K and K? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do me like that, bro. I've actually only think I've been three times. Right. Only, yeah. So going off statistics, people who are diehard downhill skaters, we've all we've been there. We've all been there. Yeah. It's the only stand-up race in downhill skating too. That's bro, look at his eyes when he says that. Really yes. like, um, yeah, they light look at his up. eyes. They light up. I'd that's love cool. to see him back there. That's what I'm saying, bro. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Look at his shaking, man. I got a concrete... It's yeah, got, you got you got to concrete until you get there. But um, <laughs> like I I really really want to see you back there, man. Because I think the progression that you've made since you were there last in 2018 to now is ridiculous. Yeah, well, I was 17. Yeah, exactly. Guess, so. Not not just as a skater, but as like a as like a person as well. Yeah. Oh, bro, yeah. the come up has been unreal, and yeah. I'd be very Appreciate keen to it. see you go back there. My my reasons for K and K is. You know, if you look at downhill media mm-hmm. that has reached, you know, p- the greater population, there's been lots of great media come out from K and K. I'm certain that people have seen media from K and K and the good times of, of course, the events because yep. you don't really you don't see media from it outside of the event mm. times. But I'm sh- I'm certain that people who haven't been downhill skaters have seen media from K and K, seen how good of a time you could have, and that's sparked them, inspired them to get. A downhill board, a long board, 100%, 100%. even a skateboard of any kind. Yep. But I just think, yeah, of course, like first thing that you mentioned when I mentioned K&K was, is it the event or is it the road? The road, like, you know me, I know that <laughs> I, I ride off all these top dudes who say, oh, this road sucks. It's a good road, man. There's hairpins. So I was thinking about that, actually. Like, can you imagine if, you know how like when, when you go on a Euro tour, like the typical thing is to, like you go to events, but then it's the tripping in between the events that sticks to you forever. Yeah. If you... Rolled up on K and K randomly. Mm. Do you reckon you'd still find it a sick road? Because I think you would. I th- oh, yeah. Yes. oh yeah. Oh, if you I rolled up in that, you'd be like, "Holy!" Did I thought you were gonna say? The whole thing. I thought you were gonna say otherwise, then, and I was ready to have to buy it back. Because no, no, no. no. <laughs> I skated a lot of open roads on that last trip, and if we came came up on K and K open road, I'd be like, "This is one bro." We have to be ones. more fun. I feel like because you're in your one lane. Yeah, yeah like yeah. yeah, you'd be like, "Oh, we have to do an event here." Yeah, yeah. Straight, I like, feel like that's how it happened. Yeah, totally. that was yeah. so strong. Though. Like, that there's is 18 probably, hairpins. It's pretty much entry level. This is I well. That's know, the thing. In like, terms it, of accessibility it, 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 as well, it's I everything. Think it's really up there. It's the uh, safest probably event. That yeah, I've you feel seen super comfortable like when you're there. Yeah. Super hurt there. And and I think that's the thing about K and K that makes it so necessary for everyone to travel to. Yeah, is that like you progress? Like, dude, how much better can you get at K and K in five days at K and K? Yeah, compared to like a year skating in Australia, even just seeing Milo at K and K this past one. Oh just man, like Bro, it's like a year's worth of progression yeah. in five days. I yeah. skated with Milo at Murray's before yeah. he went on Euro Tour, and I skated with him the next time at Murray's after he got back from Euro Tour. Yeah, and different, like, guy. Yeah. different guy, different guy. Wicked. Yeah, even yeah. skating. He with tucked in days. behind you. Yeah, he was right there. He was there. I was like, like, what the hell? Like, Milo's yep. still here, dude. It's crazy. There were big nerves. I can't hear you. We're doing the podcast. Why? Why is he going to Rondas so early in the I morning? I don't know. <laughs> it's 6am, bro. It's 6 a- he's going back to Rondas. But I think <laughs> as well, I noticed out of all the events that I, I haven't been to that many overseas events, Yeah. but at k k there was food, there was like showers. <laughs> the kebab, the, yeah, the falafel the boy. Oh, the falafel yeah. boy. Dude, I've never had falafel in my life till k yeah, What? Really? really? Yeah. And it was the, the best experience. Yeah. k <laughs> five years ago, not the one I just went to. K&K. Hey? Have you had you've had falafel before K and K? I'm a cultured man. Yeah. He's cultured yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my number one on the top ten, we're doing the shared top ten right now. Or else we'll be here for hours. Um, is K and K. What's uh crack the list out? Just so yeah, we, we, know. we, we did prepare we, we, we did prepare someone of a list. I know I know I wanna talk about that one. Uh, yeah. uh, well, what do you want to talk about, Lucky? Oh uh, No, we're just all talking about it most. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Next, yeah. I'll take it. Nary Hill. Yep. Look. 
Controversial. Contro- no, 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 yeah, but no, there's going to no. be so many people, you know, you know, your, your high end no stand up free riders. <laughs> Why would you go there? There's no slides, but come on, look at downhill skating from 30,000 feet up. What's been an iconic <laughs> road? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Look, and I do not care who you are because, look, man, I love to drift. Like, everything in my background has come from technical sliding, mainly hands down, but. Still, like I, I'm, I'm, I love a race with a drift. I'm a big advocate for racing with a drift. Um, and look, I don't like going to Mary Hill to race, but the Mary Hill free ride, mm. man, lots of fun. We were there last year. It's so fun. Like, there's not a road like that. It's kind of like similar to another road that we'll talk about later um, in Bathurst. It's like it because it's been paved the way it has been. It's unlike any other road. Yeah. Like it just keeps turning. Like there's some of these corners that you think you're at the end and then it just turns another whole corner around itself. Like the never ending lefties, never ending righties. It's such a unique place to skate. This guy just said he doesn't like racing at Mary Hill. He won Mary Hill. <laughs> and that's and why I think that carries so much <laughs> over. Cause like I, I've won yeah. Mary Hill. But you're, like, you're saying uh, you prefer pack runs. Like you prefer just skating oh, dude, in a big group. We that today even. We, you know. we went to Mary Hill together, me and you. And yeah. um, we did the race. Yeah. The race was cool. But then afterwards, we all got to ride together. Yeah. And we were, and we were riding with like Hops Kid with little Pat. Oh, the Bro, Pat run. Did, did, Pat you, did you ever hear about the Pat run? Yeah, I heard about the Pat run. Photos and stuff. Bro, Pat those, run, those are Pat. some of my favorite runs. They Pat, were so fun. <clears throat> Pat is Hopkin who runs Hopkin Skate, legendary Australian. Um, I don't even have the words right now to describe him. But Pat... Um, Hop's son came to Mary Hill and he's very beginner at this stage. And uh, we decided to do a pack run, which is where we did a massive pack run, but you couldn't overtake Pat. And we have to stay in the left lane. True. Yes. That's pretty cool. Aussie, Aussie star. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. And it was fun. And, and yeah. that's the thing. Like, I did not talk the entire run, but I skated with 40 of my friends. Yeah. It's incredible. With Pat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We, we, we had like the top 40 in the world. Pushing Pat down a run in the left lane at Mary, and it was Great. it was so sick. But I, I, I've always heard the quote over the years is like, um, "Oh, there's so much history." Of the, well, so I'm jumping around now, but the history of that road and how you know they got the museum nearby, yep, the town, yep, everything that surrounds it. Like you look at you look at the the class of Mary Hill winners, and it's like I was about oh, to legend, touch on legend, bro, legend, Zach legend, Mayton. legend, me, legend, Le- you know what I mean? Yeah. It's crazy. Zach, dude, Zach Maton won it as a junior. Right. Scoot. How many times has he won it? Probably. Countless. The, the quote that I always hear when people talk about Mary Hill is, easiest road to skate, hardest, hardest race win. to win. And yeah. it's like, well, I, I just think in terms of, like I touched on with k k is like if you're looking at media over the years, in more recent times, it's been your viral, your like death-defying stuff. But back in the <laughs> early days, if you saw a video or a picture even just a picture of Mary Hill, this black snake through a golden it's iconic field. It's like iconic. And so you, with the windmills, bro. Wrong, yeah. First paved road in the world. Mm, I Not think the world. There, there was some sort of like the US? prototype pavement deal. Right. Like it came from like a car <laughs> brand or something like that. I don't know. It, it, it was a first of its kind in some yeah. regard, yeah. but I'm, I do not know. Yeah, it's um, special yeah. for yeah. a reason. And that's why they have it gated off, and like they film like some sick ass car commercials up there. Unfortunately, yeah, like one of them, stuff up one of them destroyed the road. Yeah, and yeah, they they wrecked houses that it's, year that we went. But it's tricky though. Like we're we're trying to dumb down all the roads in the world to ten. Oh, dude, it's impossible. And it's just like, yeah, like we're just talking about ten roads that you, if you're a diehard downhill skater and you're going to be in this iconic. for life, where do you what do you need to I tick off? Iconic. Yeah, like this is not the ten best roads in the world. Yeah, I, I think this is more like the ten sort of roads like, you have to do before, you know, cark it. Yeah, like Bef- it's the mainstream pack it up. roads Car. in the skate scene. Sort mm. of. <laughs> what's <again>. what's <laughs> next, Jeb? Well, I'd say I don't really know which one to pick because I haven't skated either of them, but. I'm gonna say tuna. Okay, that's since I was a grom. Oh, like yeah. since I before I even this should have been number one. Really, learned how to slide. Yeah, look, yeah. Again, yeah. media yeah. output of that hill. What's the first tuna run you ever saw? The first one, man. That's a hard that question. you can remember. What's the What's the first thing? You oh, ever just saw? like you know the James Kelly the seven D runs and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, and were you gonna say the same thing? Because yeah, I was probably. gonna say the same thing. What's the I first tuna run you ever saw? 
in terms of like first, like the first footage I remember of that, I think is not necessarily a raw run, but like Louis Poloni and like the Skatehouse Media guys, like sessioning corners on it. Yeah, oh my goodness. Like bro. I don't know. There's some. I don't know what the edit's called. But like, but like your first run seeing Tuna, and especially if you're lucky enough to be Indiana skating for the Skatehouse Media days. Oh my goodness. There have been countless runs. At that road. Too oh, many. dude, so many. It's an incredibly iconic road that, okay, we've got to be honest. Have a favorite? I've been to Tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I've skated my skateboard down the road at Tuna and I don't want to do it ever again. Bro, I think, I think this is actually one of the craziest topics that we could ever discuss mm. is that if you've never been there, it's so much gnarly. You have no idea. Yeah, that's what everyone said to me. Like, they said the like particularly about well. the pavement. Pavement yeah. is bad. Bad. It's, sl- no it's sl- it, they call it. What do you decide? Slurry. Bad, Harry? Slurry. Um, it's bad for you. Is it slidey or <laughs> no? It's slurry. fine, bro. Like we would, we would thrive as Australians down there. Yeah. Like okay. it, it's no worse than what we were skating today. I mean, like if you if you skated that, you can skate it's too. A, it's what, just the first hill. Yeah. Bro, it's so... I like the rough bits. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it, so it, much steeper than any video has ever yeah. shown it to and be. It's crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. And it's so narrow. That lo- that big straight with like the right kink mm. and then the left there. Yeah. I think that's what looks pretty Bro, interesting. Bro, that's why I crashed. Yeah, I've heard you've yeah. had some... Um, that's why I, That's why I did my shoulder. I can show, around the, show the ladies and gentlemen... See my shoulders. Oh my still. god, you're having a baby yeah. in the shoulder. Bro. Yeah, dude, it bounces as well. What's it's your cool. Lockie, What's your favorite tuna run? It's a hard question. Favorite tuna run? Just, or what? Com- what? What's There's the two that, that come to mind, yeah. and they're very, very different. Yeah. And like the first two that come to r- mind is like first is Dex's. Yes. Mm. Because like Shout just like Dex. so. Again, I just love watching Dex skate. Yeah, he, he found it's the limit and was just like, car. "I'm gonna go over it." Rally car. As yeah. soon as you make your skateboard look like a rally car, I'm so here for it. Whatever that means, <laughs> to you, yeah. it's right on the edge. It's absolutely pushing it. But he's hectic. riding up the berms. Yeah, on the mm. exits. It's, like, it's bro, for relax. Not, not just not just like chilling up the berms. He's like r- rallying up the berms. Yeah, full you know? grabbing rally. Yeah. And then the second one, just because like I'd show people that didn't really skate this one. And it was laying jackets when he puts on yeah. like the fresh easy hogs yeah, at the top, and run. then in their cord at the bottom of yeah, the run, like yeah. like you crazy. Know, the moose. There's just something so cool about that the as moose. well. What about you, dumb. Jeb? I'd say that Totty run yes. with him on the open Great. wheels, Great. Yep. or Great the James one. Kelly run for seven D. What about yeah. what about you? Uh, my favorite run is Tuna Rob. Or actually, what? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't uh, have yeah. to be. I don't know. I, I don't even know. I'm allowed to even say this, but I'd probably say the Aiden Essex run is actually mm. my favourite run I've ever viewed with my eyes at Tuna, and that's just because he's my friend. And yeah, I haven't 100. seen many Aussies skate and then, that well, through, and that's so sick. I could be c- the only person I would say could have a run there, and I'm talking full run, would be legendary Australian OG Jackson Shapira. Mm. I've seen Aussies in videos that have little clips of Tuna, mm. but I was so excited to be there with Aiden Essex. Shout out East End. Shout out East Aiden Essex, Shout our out boy. End. But I was so happy to be there because I'm thinking, hold on, are we about to get the first full Australian <coughs> raw run there? But I could be wrong. You might be, but I couldn't tell you. Exactly Sorry what I'm saying. No, no, it's cool. Yeah, I think for me, it'd be my boy Rob Burns yep. at the time because I think he just came out Hard out, of, out, of, out of nowhere, it yeah. really slaps. That and, and, it's, and it's well. so good, and it still holds up. Yeah, um, and he just came out of nowhere, and and like for me, from like the scene that we grew up in, like we were the scene. Yeah, you know, I I I was, you know, the scene for a long time there with Rob and Pierre, and and to come up from where we started, and for him to drop that run and to be such on a level was just like so insane for us. Yeah. Um, but also I think, uh, Dustin Hampton's run there. Yep. Good one. Oh yeah. Sick. My top two. Espe- first one is, uh, the two that were v- uploaded very far apart, but my first one is very much so because of the time and what skating was like at the time. And, and this person being my friend, but I, I always used to go back and watch Liam Morgan had a run there, Yep. which I just loved. Uh, riding Volante wheels, Comet deck, like caliber trucks. It was just like so sick. Fast forward many years later is um, there there are two Josh Newmans 
There's a the Josh Newman yep. who sadly passed away, who yep. had the YouTube channel that introduced so many people worldwide to downhill skateboarding. But there's actually another Josh Newman. Jersh. Spelt yeah, Jersh. Yep. Spelt uh I think his last name's spelled a little bit differently. I think it's with a W. Yeah, with a instead of a U U. No, with a U instead of a W, I think. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, Josh Newman has a O Tang yeah, like it's, it, it might be the hardest. It might be the hardest. He's hands down, dude. But it's just perfect. Mashing that road. It's perfect. And then, so I, so I, actually, honestly, prior to me going to California, knowing, okay, I'm going back to Cali, <laughs> I'm going to skate You're tuna. No, I would just watch his one over yeah, and over again. So I'm yeah. like, well, he puts his hand down. That's how I skate. Mm. Watching it, watching it, watching it. So Mate. fast, man. He's so good. He's Incredible. so good. Yeah. But, dude, tuna, in, especially for people who were here through the Skate House Media era, it should have been the first road we spoke about. But what's next? Oh, I love I'm thinking of it. Too. No, I've got one on the list that's there, but Newton's. Yeah, dude, you got to take yep. this. Just because, yeah. Because why? Oh, I mean, for me, it wasn't that far from home. Like, yeah, sick. Know, like literally, explain itself. to the people. It's a race. Tr- it's literally a race track. But it's like an. A- it was an hour and a half from when you grew up from. Yeah, and can you believe? And that? it is a roller coaster. It, it's well, you chose the best word. Hundred percent roller coaster. It's the camber. I don't know. For me, <laughs> it's fifty nine like, seconds. It's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, it, it, I mean, you could argue it's a grip run. It's a slip. You know, like people have different approaches to that the, corner. The, the, the fact we're still talking one about is it is still amazing. A foot braking run. It would still it's hold up for yeah. today's standard at racing the with small 100%. boards. 100%. Yeah. Oh, and the yeah. fastest, the fastest no, run yeah. down, it's still a foot braking run, at right? It's just, Bassie's time. Just as God intended. Oh, really? It's yeah. still yeah. Bassie? Yeah. yeah. The thing for me with Newton's and why it was so important for like my family coming to watch me skate there is my dad, being an Aussie battler, was raised watching V8 supercars. Yeah. And Bathurst is, without a doubt, Australia's number one V8 supercar race track. Bro, even throughout the world, I've yeah, heard a lot of people talk on I was, that track is in itself. I, w- I was listening to like a Formula One podcast. It was interviewing a driver. He's a Kiwi boy, Liam Lawson, recently. Yeah. Um, and he was talking about driving um, the RB7, which was like the, the um, Sebastian Vettel's world, um, world championship winning Red Bull. He, rode it, he drove it around um, Bathurst this year. And he was talking about how he and almost all the other drivers who've from Formula One that have driven there in an F1 car say it's by far the yeah. best racetrack they've ever driven in their entire life. Wow. Can you believe that? Yeah, what's your, what's your favourite crazy. part about it? I think... Skating it. My, fav- my favourite part is when, like, in the last couple of years, because if you don't know that, Bathurst is an open road. Like, you can go there... Shout out, shout out Mitty, by the way. Shout out, shout out. The yeah. Australian the who king. won Newsons. The king of Bathurst. First yep. Aussie to win a World Cup, a World Cup yep. at his hometown. Oh, you could like, not it write like, it better. Like, yeah. You could not write it better. If he wins Bathurst every year until the end of time. No one would complain. I'm yeah. to be the happiest man ever. Yeah. Um, but if you don't know, like the, you can go, you can fly to Australia and just drive to Bathurst and drive around the track. You can You'll get it too. Most, most people know. Yeah, dude. Most, yeah. People, <laughs> most people know I'm a school teacher and it's very popular for schools in the state we live in to do like a year six school excursion to Bathurst. And it's like a big thing for the like the bus that the school hires to drive the yeah, track for true. the children. Yeah. And it's, it's just mental known. And, um, and in the last couple of years, like we're really dialing this track in. Mm. And my favorite part of the track is when you you kick in from what they call skyline and what which is like the flat top section well, like if you've seen the downhill skating race like you know where you start um it just as it starts to go downhill again you kind of meander through this little chicane go around this ride into what they call um the dipper and it just happened so fast <laughs> you could like you, you come <laughs> around this righty and it's like a a left right drop and you kind of like see it at all because there's a wall on your right as you're coming around there's a wall on your left and you just have to point it I've always, into the void i've always explained it and i could be like way off but a little bit of exaggeration sprinkled in here but it's like if say if you're going 40 before the dipper and the dip is a second and a half you're then going 70 easy yeah you agree easy. you accelerate yeah. so much to yeah that corner. the only thing you can see there's like a i always remember there's like a kind of like a advertising board yeah and as you come around the right, you can see the advertising board like 
30 meters down the road. It's like this big thing that comes over the road and you're kind of like level with it. Yes. And you kind of come around this right. You're looking at this advertising board 30 meters above you. And it's the only thing you can see. You can't see the 30 meters of road yeah. below you. And you just point into the wall on your left and you just right into the wall and then you just fly down somehow oh my yeah. goodness is that the advertising on the back uh, of the midi shirt on the back of the midi yeah, shirt yeah. exactly and yeah I, I was about to say that i yeah, love yeah. that you remembered yeah. that you picked that up but i changed the advertisement and it says get, get that, that. Yeah. yeah exactly well, hard idea um <laughs> and so basically if you if you ride skateboards and you haven't had the opportunity to to you know come to newtons it's a feeling that you'll never yeah, the noise, <sighs> the noise. But after you exit the dipper too, yeah. I was talking to it your mum about bounces this. Bounces off the, the walls. Day. Yeah, so it's like this, like you're in this like sound. I don't know, it's like tunnel. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a. <laughs> Callum's yeah. back. <laughs> 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 no, but like the the crazy thing for Newtons is, and like downhill skateboarding is inherently dangerous, man. It's it's dangerous, but like there are places where if you come off the road, you're coming off the road. You could roll along the grass, and there's. You know, there's worse things that can happen, but the mental thing about Newton's dude is that there are concrete walls. Yeah, well, it's, it's what makes the race so nice. At too. the side of the track. The like the there's there's no the grass section the before in. it. It's just like if you're coming off, there's a concrete wall there. Have you guys seen I pictures of it before the wall? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, yeah. I really? Yeah. No. It's is wicked. It's really cool. It's like it's crazy because you're looking road. at the dipper, but there's just grass. It like, looks so pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, looks like, yeah, it, looks it looks like a different hill. It's the I sickest know. grass ride of all yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we pave that hill like every year or something. Um, you have to yeah. you know, Some, take Mitch on, on this. Something I have like no that. Idea. But yeah, I've sure. seen the the road is just raised over the years from all the layers they're putting on it. Well, actually, that's something good to um about the hill as well. So all the car racing that goes on, mm. all the rubber from the tyres gets into the road yep. and it makes the road grippier and slidier. Yeah, it's been whatever. years when it's been on just after car races and it yeah. really, yeah. really, it really how changes the, um, how, how, the, how the hill performs. So yeah. mm. you got to like figure out What's happening? And like, and they don't just like race a few laps around it either. No, they do <laughs> one thousand. Yeah, there's a lot of. <laughs> they're racing for twenty four like, hours. And then, yeah, the twelve hour Porsche ones on the same yeah, weekend. Exactly. And like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it's just like there's a lot of bro, tire on that. Driving track. around Bathurst for twelve hours sounds like a dream, bro. You imagine? <laughs> it does sound really <laughs> it fun. sounds so good. Oh. And like the thing with Bathurst is you can get twenty laps in. Yeah. In a day, I mean. If you chop the line, you can get 20 likes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a yeah. huge Someone issue. Else is, yeah. Dude, looking right at that. you and Jeff yeah. that one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, what like number are we up to? I three think that was four. three. Yeah. No, that's four. Are we crossing them off? K and K, Mary Hill, Tuna, Newtons. Okay, has touch on it. Uh, <laughs> Look, there's a lot of hills in Europe. Yeah. Um, so many. It, dude. Thousands. We're talking about this today. How many hills yeah. are in New South Wales? Thousands. Crazy. How many more are in Europe? Tens of thousands. Yep. But I feel like if you, especially over the last, I'd say five, six Euro tours, mm. it's becoming, and this tour especially, my goodness, how popular Col de Soir is getting. The cold lizard. Um, now you boys, love that hill. You've been, been there. You've been. I recently went. Have you been? I spent a lot of time in Italy and Austria. Not France. not France. The answer's not yet. Yeah, the answer is not yet. Well, I mean, there's a few not yet's on this list. If I'm being completely honest, well, that's good that. for those who might not know. Describe the hill and and so, why do you think it's a hill that every downhill skater should get to at least once? Well, I mean, like it's, I, it's a it, playground. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it it's you, you feel it has two like sides. So safe skating there, like yeah. with a spotter, of course. It feels like, like a skater. I saw Harry's a run bit. down yeah. that, and it didn't look very safe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it looks <laughs> safe, but I'm not but sure he's how on safe one. he felt. Yeah, he's he definitely I was on off one. A perk. That is hectic to watch. That um, clip. I, I think, I think it's just the fact that you, it's so accessible. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with like the French police, but they just do not care, lad. It, it seems like this hill <laughs> is a gravity sports event. Like there yeah. is mountain bikers, there's people taking photos, there's motorbikes, there's yeah, skaters so flying up and down, but everyone works together and it seems like it all, yeah. it's all so, pretty safe. So if you don't know that Col de Soie is actually like a, one of the climbs that's featured on the Tour de France. Yep. I'm not sure if it's an every year thing or if no, it's they like, change the route every year. They change year. the route every couple depending on like where they're starting from, but it's it's known to be a notorious climb for cyclists. Yeah. Um so you do get a lot of tourism coming in for cycling. You get a lot of tourism coming in for motorbike riding. Didn't the mountain biker hit the the actual when you start at the top? Not of the there, but not there. 
they do ride the mountain bikes off the dunes off the side there. Yeah. Um, so it's big tourism for that. Yeah. People in sports cars, um, skiing in the winter. Yeah. And in the summer, dirt bag downhill skateboarders. Dude, I was telling my uncle who's a motorbike rider, I'm like, you need to go here. Right, exactly. I love that the and I wish so many more roads did this, but the stores near these mountain passes yeah. in Europe yeah. have the emblem uh, stickers and so it's just sick. so cool. But it's wild for me because it was my f- – had you been before this year? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I hadn't been before. You went for the first time last, last year. year yeah. It was mind blowing for me, man. I was ner- <laughs> I was nervous because I'm like, I don't know, this is on another bad, level. Hey, like no, a, you ask like Midi, Midi will laugh about it, bro. I was so nervous because I'm like, this is a wild, <laughs> heavy hill. I'm on a, I'm not on the level that these boys are on. No, play no, runs, bro. I'm like, this is so good. Like, yeah, it's it's mixed in between. There's like some gnarly bits. There's some chill bits, mm. but you can sort of pick and choose yeah. if exactly. you want to make something gnarly or chill yeah. and that's and it, really like sick and of course any of these roads that you're going to that aren't in an event situation hit the locals up be as safe Please. as possible use a, this is a road that you need a lead car for it's there's a, no question and w- when we say lead car we're talking about like a radio system where radio a spotting system. car so the r- um, car goes down first with the radio especially free, where you're free, camping free, free. <laughs> Make it make it seem like you have that you weren't there. Pick up every bit of rubbish. Please pick up um, your trash, you dirty. But just dirty Queenslanders. Like <laughs> the views from the top of this place. Oh yeah. Unreal. The the curves of the corners is insane. The pack runs you can do. The the boulangerie in Briançon in town Slaps. is life changing, bro. The crepes. Bro, I was spend like I didn't care. I, I'd ask for all this stuff, and they're like, "Yeah, twenty five euro." I don't care, bro. Take my money. It was insane. Coffee in Europe can be better, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but and the fact that there's two sides. Yeah, bro. I, I know a lot of you guys. Did you not hit the other side? I didn't know. That no is, one did. This I, that I'm in disbelief because uh, he would smash that side. Everyone said it was too dangerous because the cliffs, and no one was. Well, dude, I mean, there's cliffs on both sides, bro. Same people go skate tuna. <laughs> They're already downhill skating. It's mm. dangerous. Yes. Well, I mean, you're not supposed to go off the road, right? I yeah. I fully, when we were writing this list today, I fully agree that out of all the roads in the world, a skater, downhill skater, who wants to hit all these bucket list roads is wide. Yeah. You can also do 100 on that hill, yep. and it feels pretty safe, like, out of a lot of hills, like, to do 100 on, like, that actually... It's good. It's pretty chill. Yeah, it's a good. You one. can straight line through the turns. So yeah, it feels, feels really rewarding. Feels good. Man. Feels very good. Free. You get that warp, 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 warp. Locky, Locky will get there one day. Oh, Hundred. Yeah. Literally next tour, we'll take yeah. you straight there. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, but like, what's next? Yeah. I'd spend a week there. Well, we like, did. I mean, yeah. I'd <laughs> we did. But I really did back, see I went this back year. Back. Like you guys spent oh, a okay. lot of time there. Right? It was the only dry hill in Europe this year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we gotta we gotta figure it out. So for, for I'm gonna talk about this one. And if you are a listener of the Get That Skate podcast, you know this place is very near and dear to me. Starts with a H, ends with a Hawaii, <laughs> and. <laughs> So, okay, here's Hawaii. here's the thing. Not many, no one in this room has been to Hawaii to ride skateboards. You and Ray have. Me and Ray Mysterio <laughs> have. But there's a reason why people go to Maui specifically. All of Hawaii is great. I haven't been to every island, but from where I've been, everywhere is amazing. But Hawaii has a road named Polly's. Sometimes I like to call it Dakotas because he skates at the best. But there's a 26 or something hairpin road, a kink almost in between every one of those hairpins. It's at a lavender, there's a lavender farm at the bottom. The whole place is pretty much an extreme sports hub. So mm. there's like a disc, a disc golf course throughout the road. There's four wheel driving, there's hunting wild boars, dude. There are people up there every day, fully set up at the back of their trucks. Just True, flying really. aeroplanes and drones, and it's just like it's just a full extreme sports hub, yep. and um, you're selling it. But the road, man, is like I said, twenty six hairpins, kinks every everywhere. It's so amazing. The pavement is butter, and there's a reason that people like you know Chase Hiller, good friend of ours, but you know 
He's one of the top downhill skaters in the world. He says it's one of the best roads ever. I've seen photos of like a left corner. I'm not sure if that maybe they're all the same, but mm. I feel like I've seen a couple photos of the same. It left looks so corner. much steeper. Yeah, than and it looks the really sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. there, there are all steep parts. My, my input on this hill is the amount of times I've heard, "Man, this section of road reminds me so much of Polly's." Yeah, I've yeah. heard that so, so many times. often, yeah, like so it, often. And it wouldn't have just been for me; it would have been no, for miles. No, from a whole bunch of people. Yeah. People who've never been to Polly's have said, it. "I'm like." <laughs> It's a, just Hawaii in general and, you know, they call it Aloha there and how nice everyone is, but it's just an amazing place. And, like, not far from the bottom of Polly's is Morihara Store. Go get yourself a chili bowl. You can pick fruit off the trees at the hill at Polly's, actually. I forgot wow. to mention that. There's Lily Koi, which the higher, I, I believe, the higher up the mountain you go, Lily Koi then grows long, kind of like a small banana shape. What's Lily Koi? Lily Koi, is, it's like passion fruit. Oh, okay. oh, really? So the yeah. higher up the mountain you go, it like the shape thinking, changes. I was thinking Wild. corn. For yeah, no, <laughs> not corn. But no, I, I just think <laughs> like, you know. Got the juice. Dude, there, <laughs> there's corn. runs of Byron Essett there. Yep. I'm going to name drop. There's runs of Matt K there. Yep. Actually, there's a lot of Matt K Maui footage. Yep. You know, Chase Hiller loves it. David Bubier has spent weeks uh, like he's no months. David Bubia yeah. has spent months living on the hill. <laughs> what does that say? Yeah, it must Bro, be pretty ask good. Miles Jones what his favorite road is. I'm gonna he's going to say Polly's. Yeah, it's an amazing place. Everyone needs to go there. Link up with the locals. That the thing about Hawaii is uh, Maui in particular is not many skaters. So you know when you when you don't have many people to skate with and over time, like you know things can get boring. The, the Link up with the locals and that will show you a good time there. But I feel like if there's top 10 roads every skate needs to go there. to, you have to go. And it's sad, saddens my heart that no one at this table has been. So we're going to have to book a trip soon. Next one. All right. Oh, oh, I'm yes. taking it, bro. I'm taking it. I'm oh. taking it. Taking it. Only one of you who skated this one year has. <laughs> My goodness. Come to Brazil, John Cena. Come to Brazil. <laughs> Look, um, I'm, I'll cop a lot of shit because I didn't get to go to Teutonia before the repave. Yep. But I did get to go to Teutonia after the repave. And granted, the, the only time I got to go to Teutonia was for the literal worst skateboarding event of all all time mm. <laughs> how many runs did you get harry like <laughs> mate like seven in over how many days <laughs> three and not all of them would have been from the top top exactly mm. and it, it was still worth it and if that doesn't tell you enough like nothing yeah bro there's a reason they start like for for I, don't know, I think maybe we've talked about this on the podcast before i'm pretty sure we have maybe. but like your very first run into tony they don't drive you to the top they drive you to the top of the first straight. There's uh, a whole uh, other section after that. Yeah, what, yeah. Like the event organizers. Yes. Really? Every yeah, single it's, year. It's like first practice practice or practice day. Are there first any other events the that, first that run don't drop you to the top of the hill? No. Nah. This wow. is the only one. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So That's big. And and we were like, yeah, fucking whatever, man. No worries. Like this is kind of stupid. Really good thing they did that. Mm. Yeah, yeah they really. But for a lot of people don't know the history. Like, so Teutonia has been running since I believe the very late two thousands. So oh, like I couldn't tell you the exact date, but a long time. Bro, that's how long they've been. The event's been going. How long they've been skating, skating it for? It, yeah, God knows. But the pave had deteriorated over the years, and it wasn't. As far as my understanding goes, it was never good. Um, so from talking to guys like Kyle and Kevin and the OG Brazilian crew, Delua, um, before the pavement used to be so bad that you'd have to pick a line and stick to it. Because if you moved off line at all, you're going down. Like Jack who's been. Yeah, and he was crazy. telling me that like the craters in the road were like wheel depth. The th the, what, when I hear Teutonia, I think of, yeah, bad pavement. Mm -hmm. I think of the crowd... Uh, on hanging the over the hay bales. Yeah, that looks hectic. I think of dogs crossing the track. And I think of people coming off at 100 plus kilometers an hour. That Chase Hill clip. Ooh. Oh, oh man. 
Yeah. Uh, you know what else I think about? The picture of the dude in leathers yeah. with no helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's that, so good. That was my screensaver for so signs. long, bro. Yeah. But yeah. dude, yeah. the funny thing when we were talking about the list earlier, has his, has good two training, and I'm there going, bro, no way, don't put two training on there. He's got a point though. You want to scare yourself, bro? But there's no there's, there's no feeling like that. It's like, it's mm. it's similar to like a Bathurst thing. You know, imagine going down the dipper like five times. Again and again and again. Okay, have you ever had a dream skating down a road that's just like that? It doesn't end? That's what I imagine you Chaney is. It's, to be it's like. truly like that. Yeah. And with the repave, it's so much friendlier. Yeah. But it is so much faster. Yeah. 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 It, 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 it's, a, it's a really crazy feeling, like where you have to anticipate um, like the dips in the road because it, cause it like really drops. It's like a water slide. You know the Kozakov water slide? Mm. It's like that. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Niche reference there. But for all my dogs out another, there. Another good hill that could yeah. probably yeah. nearly be on the list. Um, nearly. Yeah, just how it like, you have to like tense up yeah. the drops to not like have your chest pop up yep. going that fast. And you're going like 120. Do you know what really like made Tutoni a big thing for me? And everyone's different, but the... The Kevin Rama like documentary, and then he had like it was mm. like a friendship with Delure, and it would yeah, speak yeah. about all that, yeah, and yeah. that really yeah. showed like documentary style. Really brought like emotion to that hill, and like don't come here if you're gonna mess around. Like yeah. you need to be on your A so, grade. There. It's so. just another one of those like iconic sort of like you know, as we said, this list isn't necessarily the best roads to skate in the world, but it's no, exactly. like iconic yeah. downhill roads that, you know, for me when I started skating, they were one of the roads that I saw and went, yeah. Holy moly. Like, yeah, I remember sending a video crazy. to like this chick that I was dating at the time and I was like, one day I'm gonna go here. Yeah. <laughs> I like I promise How's you. How's the riz on this man? Yeah. Shout out Soul, <laughs> but did you message that chick and <laughs> I really thought about it. Yeah. I never did. <laughs> Um, but like it, it was that big of a deal. Yeah, like I was just like, one day I will do this. Would you do it, Lucky? Oh, presented with the opportunity. I mean, yeah, I'd probably. You know the amount tricks. of absolute bullying that would have to go on to make you drop into that. Yeah, I'm, I mean, if I was it's there though, with you, it job, would bro. happen. Yeah, but <laughs> like only me into uh, doing a lot of the hills. rush. The rush, man, is unbelievable. Uh, as you know, I overthink every hill I step foot on, but I feel like <laughs> that if I was in Brazil. Or like if Teutonia came up and there was some other events in South America and we were all going, then I would go and I would honestly be happy to do one run and say, okay, I've done it. That's, that's it. it. And that's yeah. all I wanted to do, which is why I wasn't so mad about how shit the event was run. Yeah. you just like, I've ticked that I off. I ticked it off. Yeah. I rode, I rode my 100 mil triple, yeah, yeah, quadruple spherical trucks <laughs> and went 130 kilometers an hour down to Tonia. And I will remember that <laughs> yeah. forever. Did you yes. ride the cone? Yeah. Yeah, did you ride the cone just so you could say I rode yeah. cone bushing <laughs> yeah, 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 on yeah, the fastest cone bushings of all time. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Um so yeah, that that was a big one for me and I and I I got to tick that off last year with all the boys there as well. And yeah. yeah, that was super cool. Is that a race or is it a yeah, it's race. Drill? So it's a race. so is it how many people two are men. Two, two men. It's yeah, two men. Okay. Four, four it's men. Always been two men. Uh, See, I thought it was just uh, like who went the fastest. Yeah, so that they did that like this year, race. but like the top speed was so bad because the yeah, time, okay. like the system they used was. So you know what it's like. Yeah, right. so dog okay. shit. Yeah, yeah true. But yeah, no, that's Chitania. even more gnarly. What's yeah. next? Well, I reckon Jitterbug okay. is like another sort of hill that I think is pretty sick. Oh, There's a lot of footage posted yeah. of this. It's one that's not going to be around for very long by the looks of yeah, it. So yeah, so you, you, you're the only one who's been there, right? Uh, so I've been there. And a quick story. How much longer does it have? How much longer do oh, we I have? Think, yeah, sorry, I, th yeah. I, think it's, <laughs> I think it's got a few more years, but I'm also basing what I just said about it, having a few more years off people that are from there who are like, yeah, there's not a lot of time. But my experience with Jitterbug, so I didn't get to skate it. Mm. I was in NC. I was with, we like, I had a heavy you, crew. You man. were busy, bro. We had a Behind heavy crew, bro. And we were like... We were we rocked up to Jitterbug at the end of the day, and the goal was to film Scotty because there was long term plans for him to be on a shirt, and I like it to be that way. And we're like, we need to film Scotty at Jitterbug. We got there, Chase found the keys, we got in. It was so we were honestly yeah, racing the to the top of that road to get the camera on to beat the sun going down. 
because you know you got to set your settings on the camera. You want it to be good lighting. And um, when I drove to the top after driving up this monster of a road, straight up, I had to pull Scotty aside, and he's trying to jam himself up. And he knew that like what he was gonna do, and he did <laughs> such a good job. But I actually pulled him aside. I'm like, I'm sorry, man, but I'm not gonna do a good job of filming this. And like, not to flex, man, but I, I'm proud of how Dude, I yeah, filmed I thought you did a great it's job. Very very good. Good. I love how I filmed Correct it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Scotty's first run. That that Okay. Run. People in the comments. I had to bark at someone in the comments, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Surely he's done this before. Scotty didn't even stop on a corner. When we got through that gate, it was race to the top. We didn't do yeah. a track walk. We didn't do nothing. We didn't no, look for potholes, yeah. for cracks, for nothing. We got out of the top. I put the camera on. I said, sorry, I'm not going to do a good job, bro. He hugged me, said, I love you, and dropped, and that was it. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> but the thing is, this is the thing, though. Like, it is on such a high level. You've seen Cole Trotter's videos. You've seen other raw runs. You've seen Scotty's run. I'm so happy that Scotty and I could pull that off. Like, I love you, bro. But I feel like if, you know, especially like stand-up fast free riders, you need to get there. And especially you, Jeb, get mm, there ASAP, bro. Yeah. Come to Tepe yeah, next year, go over to list. NC. The people in North Carolina, in Asheville, Asheville, bro. Everyone's so kind, welcoming. Yeah. They will look after Trent, you. Yeah, yeah. oh, I was okay. here yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah. 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 It was epic. Um, but no, Jitterbug 100%. And it's it, it hurts me to say I didn't get to skate there. But as I just explained, like we're in a time constraint. The sun, we got to the bottom. I got out of the car, me and Scotty are just hugging each other. Everyone is full cheering him because they realise he did such a good job, like it was obvious. And he drove back up in another car. I went to the halfway point where the light that's on yeah, the, the couch, post, man, yeah. fly, pulled up there, took some deep breaths. Scotty did one more run. Some was gone. We got out of there. Yeah, true. Some was like... On its way. But no, I feel like everyone should try and get there. It's a mental well, hill. For me, that like, we were sort of na like we're naming the fast hill, like, and we're naming a hill like Bathurst with these big dips that you go down and stuff like that. Yep. Jitterbug to me is like like the pavement. It's what you skate it for the moss and like all those features the on the road, the sticks, the yep. conditions are so bad, but yet the hill's so sick. Yeah. And I think that's the sort of experience. Like, that's yeah. what I think from watching a video. Yeah, it's not a perfect road. It's hard to describe. It's like everything's fighting against you yeah. to do it. But it's like bad the hill, conditions. Yeah, it's, I can't even word it, bro. Even just the moss. the moss. I was like, what the, the hell? <laughs> You've seen the videos of... I think it was a caliber video or maybe a blood orange one of Liam, like yeah, hands it down. Yeah, it's really bad. Doesn't stop sliding. But so you don't go there expecting it to be smooth and clean no. though. Like you go there wanting to skate and, that. And to be honest, yeah, we were going there expecting it to be filthy and we got there and it was quite, like it was pretty clean compared to other videos. There are yeah. some, I swear, there's like just sections of just green. Like there's, <laughs> there's <laughs> less Dude, road wet. Than, yeah, wet. I've seen dudes skate that in the, the wet. wet. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I keep finding... I just keep finding raw runs of it that I actually haven't seen before. Yeah. As well. It's scary, bro. What do we have next on the list? We're getting there. Oh. Yeah, no. This is, is this this is number nine? I think one, we're getting close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What well, we had a tenth. Well, oh yeah. yeah. What's the uh the pillars? Oh yeah, go. Um but I'll do this one. Yeah, do that one. Okay, so um this is Hill. In Wyoming, and it's called Braffs. Who's heard of it? I've heard a few yeah. things. Braffs, dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, Shout out Ben the Snyder. He's got Braffs tatted on his leg. He does, actually. Yeah, the yeah. word Braffs. Is that Ethan where the joke of 35 all grip comes from? I do not know. I know. I remember someone saying that Braffs is 35 and all You know grip. the history of Braffs? Mm, it's yes. got a spooky Briefly. history, doesn't it? Mm, like... Well, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I'll tell you what I know, and you tell me what you know. Yep. So, what I, what I heard about Brass is that the the bloke who is behind the whole thing had mm. this like mad idea for doing like a ski resort. Yeah. Um, and he was going to like run a whole ski resort out in this random place in the middle of Wyoming. Yeah. And um. And he only got round to paving the road before he went completely bankrupt. Mm. 
Um, There's going to be like a big resort type place. Yeah, like full like lifts, hotels, and all that all that crap. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then did he, the road and was like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, and, and then he done the road and then just like run out of cash. What do you know? So I've not been there. No. You and you haven't been there. Tyrone Knight, an OG Central Coast skater, has been has there. Has been there. And yeah. he actually has a dope raw run from there. Really when good the run. road was in like really good condition. Like a Wild Wild West happened and I was a Grom yeah. and I was rocking up to Wild Wild West, which, you know, is in a little hill, but it's not brass, you yeah. know. And I was like, I was quite nervous. And I remember Josh Evans and a few of the older boys yeah. were there. And I remember being like, I remember being like, oh, are you nervous? Like to Josh, like the night before. And he's just like, I've just come back from brass. brass. Yeah. But I didn't know what his brass tent. He's just like I remember seeing the footage of it and him being like, I've just come back from this hill. Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty okay about it. <laughs> yeah. And then suddenly yeah, I'm um, feeling pretty okay about it. And too. then um and then you know, years later realizing that brass was the hill that Josh and Tyrone about, yeah. and all those guys Fire had out. just skated. And yeah. like that really, really, really like what, ninety K toes. So much right, much like right Jitterbug. Slide, sorry. sorry. Much like Jitterbug, it's a road that doesn't have a lot of time left. Well, I think the boys, the boys out, like our local guys who are out there, um, do maintenance work on the road. But there's only so much you can do, right? Yeah. Like, like the road is deteriorating every year, so it is in your best interest um, to get out there as soon as possible. They just had a massive, massive session, session go down the week of Turkey was going on. Like they had a uh, the full the brass like, free ride, the brass free ride with the solar eclipse. You see them all like sitting there looking up at the sun with their fucking <laughs> eclipse sunnies on. It's so funny. That little red truck too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The whole thing looked awesome. Yeah. So no, like Micah and the boys do a great job at like keeping everyone safe and you know taking charge of the whole situation out there. But um, man, there's such a such an aura out there. I was gonna say when you you have been there. I have been. I've been. Why very why should we go? Why should anybody explain go? the road too? Like I want to well, know. It's in it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in it's in a Mormon state. Right. Right. So like the it's like weird weird stuff that goes on. Like you'll see like yeah, you'll that's see what like, I've heard. You see like these families <laughs> of like one bloke like four women and like like sixteen kids all on quad bikes. Yep. Still dry. I'm like, what is going on here, brother? They're all in like matching uniforms yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you like, betcha. Like, like, like everything, <laughs> that, funny hats. <laughs> everything that you'd expect is like real. But then you're like so out there yeah. in, the, in the bush. Like, and you, you get to the top and there's nothing but like red dirt mountains everywhere. Like, um, I, I, I went in 2018 and it was the year of the big brass bust, which is when we got rolled by the sheriff's department. And there was like maybe like 40 people there. And the sheriff's department rolled us all. Like that's the first place I ever shot a gun. Wow. Yeah. I, I went and not shot at the sheriff's. <laughs> no, I did not shoot the sheriff's yeah, gun. I shot the sheriff's. <laughs> Gra grabbed the revolver. <laughs> no, I, that's the first place I ever fired a gun um, with Kyle Wester, Calvin Staub, Dana Bangs, and Spooky. They taught me how to shoot guns. Um, it's the first place I ever saw a mountain lion. Yeah. Bro, I saw this mountain lion. It's crazy. Bro, it was it was, yeah. it was dead. Oh, it was wow. it was it was dead, and we you shoot it. <laughs> yeah, bro. I was, pop, pop. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Like th this, this, there's something called the shadow man out there. Yeah, and and if you don't pay your tax, the shadow man will get you. Come and get ya. Yeah, bro. I don't know. This this is like a whole like spooky thing about the entire road. Some juju. How yeah. fast? How Some fast is that juju. road? Um, I definitely because it is sections of it. So you got like full throttle. Yep. Um, which is the very first straight that kind of like comes into like a receiver yep. and you can probably get like high 90s on full throttle yep. and then there's the shoot which would be again yeah. high 90 like all these all iconic um, bits of road and they all have names it's really cool so you got yeah, the, the so shoot cool. shoot um, full throttle the waterfall corner I think you've all seen the waterfall corner I had a Max Dubler photo as my screen say there was like one yeah. there's like, like there's like almost a silhouette of skaters and like this it's yeah. a wicked photo I had that as a yeah, screen save water waterfall there. left lookout right um, they have this corner called George Bush. There's a big bush on the corner <laughs> that you have to smash of course they did <laughs> and then um and then Wall Street Wall Street wow what a corner it's like have you ever seen the video like the the Dill Hep photo of Dubler photo of Dill Hep on the Evo with like the blue Mustang with Blucifer oh, yeah. behind it that's Wall Street like wow, it's just yeah. such an iconic spot 
for skating. So much great media has come out of there. Yeah. And and it's it's a downhill skate park. You can just you can go there. Like there's BLM land, which is just um like pu- like public land, like it's like public owned land that you can go and camp on. You can stay there for as long as you like. And um you can just get camp at graphs. Yeah. And skate the road whenever you want. Um obviously hit up the locals. Mm. I don't know. It's just it's such a unique experience. And it was such a unique experience for me in twenty eighteen to experience something like that that yeah. like, you just don't have here. And as I was mentioned before with the the deterioration that's happening to that road, get there. You have to go, yeah. Link up with the people, get there. Like, of course, I want to see both of you guys hit it up. And There's a couple, like, they're on, like, four big... I mean, I wouldn't go by yourself. It's not recommended. Mm. I definitely message a local and find out when a good session's going down to get the best encountering mormons and mountain lions all by myself in the middle of (laughs) nowhere in the u.s that sounds hectic yeah yeah (laughs) and obviously like um you've got to find out where it is first that's that's the whole thing about brass no one knows where it is get to brass that was number nine what do we have for number 10 jeb I actually don't know the name of this hill i've already (laughs) but it's uh, it's sick and i really want to go there Incredibly iconic in terms of media that's well, coming out. I'll, I'll, I'll I explain it like this: Are we just gonna are we just gonna go with this as number ten, or are we oh, gonna I kind of we're gonna do like an individual sort oh, of like what's yeah, your well, what's I, your I'd sort say of my one hill for top ten? But so, it's no, no. Let, let's finish with this one because it is iconic, and then we okay. can share what we would have as like our another one that we haven't our mentioned 11. yet. All right. So it is like the, the cal- <laughs> those caliber videos. <laughs> yeah. And the one with the two pillars, same area? Same road. Right. So what's the name of the road has? The, the name of the look. It's known the location. as Sonora. Sonora, Sonora. Pass. Sonora. Okay. Sonora Pass. It's Sonoran. out there in Northern California. Dude, the stuff that the caliber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the stuff that Spud's been putting out too. James Spud. Kelly, like yeah. the burn it down. Dude, what was the oh, first oh, Master the Blaster Raw Run? Oh my goodness. My like yeah, yeah, it is That's such a, a picturesque location, dude. The James, um, the James run with a domo with the Tyler Crater oh. song, bro. How many it, times have you watched that, dude? So um, many. That's so that's many times. At the, the time that came out, for like three years after, if someone asked what the under getting was, I'd, I'd show, show them that, that video in high school and stuff. Yeah. That's what I but showed the, people. Dude, the like, Master Blaster video, we oh. it's unreal. But the it is so picturesque, and I'm angry that I haven't been there. It is. So incredibly beautiful. And all it's the media, bruh. But all the media that's came out from there, mm-hmm. because it is so picturesque, people take how beautiful the nature is, how crazy the skating is, and things just seem to go viral. So another thing that's probably caught the attention of someone who's not a skater and inspired them to grab a board. Hundred percent. Honestly, the stuff that Caliber Blood Orange Prism have put out there is just like such high quality media. It's yep. It's insane. Yeah, S one as well, and it just it's makes like you Arba. Awesome. yeah, Arba, yep. yeah. But you can't look at anything from that hill, even a photo, and not just want to be there. So it's, it's something on the list. Yeah. I've always wanted. I to just go think there of that sure. section of grade. Yes, when grade it goes yes. into that bit, video, yeah. and yeah. I'm just like, well, I don't know. There's something about like I think like chat, like the whole vibe. I like how like that that movie is broken up into like sections, and it's it has a like, different great vibe. Movie. Yep. We, like it's wicked and it always ends too soon every time you watch yeah. it that's when you're like, oh you're like what the hell gotta watch it again soon um, I think so but like when it gets into that section of that movie there's, I remember there's being, so yeah. much of that like there's so many sections of the road that are, are iconic yeah. but in every piece of media that you've seen they, they chop it up Yeah. but you'll find out that it's all just one road well yeah. I was about to say that like the big right is iconic yep that you know the pillars. Oh, that the the drone shots going over that right. But the the second part that's super iconic is yeah, it's like the two, you know, rock mm-hmm. pillars, mm-hmm. and the road is just like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. that. And then there's like the oh. big lookout lefty. Bro, what about Cooper and Bro Kings of the Mud, bro? Exactly. Like, come yeah. on. Exactly. So the the thing is, like, when I first went there in 2018, and I was not sure. Is when you hired the the Mustang. crazy car that yeah. he didn't even have a license for. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So yep. I t- took the career winnings and just put it all into a Mustang yep. and drove through California. Crazy. And we, we, ah, we, we, sick. we dude, I mean, what else are you going to do, right? It's my first podium, just spend it all. No license, no worries. No worries, bro. Um, How fast can you go there? Uh, 60 miles an hour. Wow. Yes. 
Um, Freedom. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Hey, there's a cool llama there. Um, but we rocked up in May, April. Like, so at the top of the road, there's still snow yep. on each side. And you kind of drop in. And the first thing that you get to is the big righty. Um, so obviously, like, you're stoked. Like, that's, that's, th- that's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. And then you... It was pretty much just like me skating through my childhood dreams yeah. as as like watching all these videos and you're skating through and you're like, oh, this is from this video yeah. and this is from this video. <laughs> and so like you, as you get in and you're, oh, it's just unreal. So yeah. you come through the first righty and you're like, oh, it's here. And like, oh, you, you don't know what to do. And like you're sliding and left and then like, oh, I want to go right. And then you come up and it kind of spits you uphill and then you drop into another section and you're going heaps fast straight yeah and then you come into the lookout left and you're like oh i'm in the lookout left yeah. you dump in a fat slide and you're like oh like i don't know what's coming next and Dude. then and then you come down and you go around this flat right corner and i remember this vividly and i remember this forever bro you come around this flat right corner yeah and then you just see the pillars, the pillars. and you're just like wow. i just like I always thought the pillars were at the top for some reason no, the pillars are in the bottom True. Yeah, right. How long's the whole run? Oh, it's long, dude. It's like 10, 10 yeah, minutes, right. maybe maybe a bit more. Mm, bro, and you come around the right and you see the pillars. And I just remember looking back at Santi in the car and just like losing my mind, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it's an amazing road. So battery's dying. So we've got to wrap it up. We just got to number 10. And as Perfect we mentioned, it, as we mentioned at the start, like everyone's going to have a different 10, but if we're thinking overall, like iconic roads and downhill skating, these are the ones, but if you're a downhill skater as well. You would have known probably all oh, these hundred, roads. Hundred percent. Percent. I hope so. And if you haven't, people, people, yeah, people will probably, are probably listening. Guy, I didn't learn anything, but, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. but also we might be missing something. Oh, no, we're probably missing a lot. Missing a lot, missing a lot let let us said, please let iconic. us know in the comments what you think is an iconic road that every downhill skater should get to. That, that we missed. But yeah. right before we wrap it up, name and briefly explain why one more road each. You start. I'm gonna just go with Crater. Good cop. Yeah. It's fast, you're railing, it's in Hawaii, it's beautiful, you're going through clouds, you're Above clouds, you're under the stars, under the moonlight. It is amazing. It's scary. I still go there and get like hella scared. And I've even been to Hawaii a couple of times and haven't skated it when I'm there. But mm. another road that Dakota just smashes down. Lucky. Um, for me, um, just because of being a grom and going on snowy trips and stuff like that. Yep. Um, it would be like, and it was probably the first proper mountain pass that I saw, and was like, whoa like people are skating down stuff like this would be seven pins. Yep. And because it took as well, like I didn't skate it the first time I went there. I was probably like 14 years old. Yep. <laughs> so it's probably a good thing I didn't skate it at 14. But I remember the feeling of getting to the bottom of like that sort of run for the first time and just being like, whoa. Yep. That's a pretty, we got to skate that just recently. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we did. So Hawaiian, yeah. Australian. I'm going to say Mount Oh, did you have anything else to add? (laughs) Sorry. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, that road also has like some, I don't know, for me as well, having like, you know, Chris Wren's passed away. Rest in peace. Sadly, down that road as well. Like it just holds a lot of like, I don't know, that road, like it's, yeah, it just holds a lot for me. Nice. Jeb? Yeah, I'm going to say Mount Stewart just because it's probably one of my favourite hills I've ever skated Ever, to be honest. <laughs> Did a lot of people that have been BTB. lucky enough to go to Mount Stewart and skate BTB or even just skate Mount Stewart on a weekend like you were so lucky to do? A couple reasons is it's if you do dawns at Mount Stewart, it's a closed road. Yep. So that's pretty rare that they do mm. that every yep. weekend, you know. Yep. And the pavement up in Townsville up north, it's super hot. It's super crisp. I'm talking like 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, things that sounds slide terrible. Different. So bad. It's it's good and bad. Like, but I hate being cold. Same as there. you were talking about. Every corner on that hill's named. It's all legendary. Like yeah, everyone's crashed. I, like, I every, do like that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's sick. Yeah, love that epic hill. So you think Short people and sweet. should get there? People should have gone there. And last but not least, ago. I hope the battery won't die, but has. Okay, we. Ha- I have to do this quickly because I can't just do one. Yeah, this this. Yeah, this is going to be hard for someone who skated. So I, I I have to say Oslo. 
Okay. But just because it's in the Philippines, such a silly piece of pavement. Yep. Just what, what were you thinking, paving that? Like that's never gonna work. But amazing to skate down. Uh, must go. Um, I've got to say, Feno Shan in Hong Kong. Yep. Same idea. Like w- why? Yeah. Why would you do that? But we're missing a huge thing, boys. Mm. We've been missing this the whole time. I've just remembered it. What? The BPs. Oh, bruh. Yeah. What is that? The British properties in, in Vancouver. Bro, it's it, in like it, it's, 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 it's the most legendary spot for skateboarding in the entire world. Oh. It, what? Everything started there. The BPs. It has to be the BPs. Hot takes with Harry. Hot takes. And, look, and, I, and I've been there and I, I went. It, it's, hot so, take. It, it's so important to me. Yeah. As, as a skater that I actually went in, instead of going to NC with you guys mm. last year because it was just so important for me to go there. Um, and that's We'd, not because it's better than NC because, you know, let's be real, it's probably yeah, not. No. But, but it, iconic. It means more. A place that you me. should go and I haven't been there and I would love to go. So hopefully next time I'm in North America, yep. I can get to the BPs. Yep. So I think we'll end I want to skate the BPs with... All those I want to skate the BPs with Kevin. I got to skate with yeah. BPs with Alex, yeah. and that was like, I guess, the second best thing. And yep. with Dex as well. And Sam Sadorchuk, I want to skate Sam. the BPs Shout with Shout out, you. Sam, boy. Tessa, even. I want to skate it with RP. Yeah, dude. Just it's so I know fun. he's not even from there, but he's there. Yeah, I, I think, think yeah, we, we blew it. Not but, dude, that. if you're listening, <laughs> add in the comments, message us, let us know, have this conversation with your friends because it's such a good conversation. We're, we're missing so much more. Like so much more. Bay Talk Area, about this while you're walking SB, up a hill. Yes. You know what I mean? With your friends. Like, but no, I see everyone's top tens in the comments, hey. Yeah. 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 Post Listen. your top ten in the comments. We'll be, we'll be keen Places to see Places every skater should get to. Before we wrap it up, I wanted to say, if you've listened this far, over an hour again. Over uh, an hour again? I appreciate far it. Out. What are you doing with your time? <laughs> get on YouTube. YouTube. Yep. No, if you're listening to it, it makes sense. If you're watching my head for an hour long, <laughs> and you're still well, you here. can't listen to Whoa. it because it's on YouTube, bro. Yeah. Mm. Gotta get it on you have to watch it. Yeah. But no, thank you to everybody who watches the Get That Skate cool. podcast. It means a lot. Every message I get from people around the world that say, hey, great podcast, or I just listen to that on the way to work, or please put it on Spotify. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you Make so much. Make a playlist. Uh, it means a lot. If you wear Get That, if you even do as little as like a photo, it goes a long way. So thank you so much for supporting Get That. Thanks, Haz. Thanks, Jeb. Thanks, Lockie, for jumping on. Thank you. Look how good, well dressed they are. Uh, and we'll <laughs> see you next time. You listen to the Get That Skate podcast. I'm Jack Main, co host Harry, new co host Lockie, hopefully. You. Co host Jeb. I, was, I wasn't going to say it because I didn't want to announce myself. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to, I'm guessing I'm going to be on a few of these, though. Oh, yeah. You are the new co host. Yeah. Thanks, mate. All right. You're cheesing microphones. Thanks for watching, yeah, everyone. Touching tips. Bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs> wow. <Ooh. laughs>